lunch with us. Welcome back to another edition of Fresh and Local. And we have got a brand new kitchen and we've got a brand new cook for you to meet. His name is Sonny and we're going to go sunny side up. Welcome to the couch, Sonny. Yahoo! And good day, mate. Welcome to the couch. This is a bit different for me having some proper food to eat. I've been starving for the last year. Oh, not, not saying Louis is not a good cook, but he doesn't look after me very well. So I'm glad you're here with us now. Thank you very much. Tell man. me about Sonny. What's the Sonny story? Oh, I'm from the island of Boracay. That's in the island of Philippines. That's where I grew up and now I'm here down under. So what made you a good cook? My mom told me I was born in the kitchen. That's where I stayed, right here in the well, kitchen. Well, we're going to get to know you for the next seven weeks because I think you're, you've got a fantastic presentation. This looks absolutely wonderful. Thank what you. are you making for us today? Today, unakatsuta. No need to swear. Okay. It Not means, that's... are you hungry in Japanese? What well, do I look hungry? Is the Pope so? Catholic? <laughs> well, I'm going to have right. cooked for you here a nice, beautiful ocean trout in the spirit of Japanese what cuisine. What makes a trout good? Well, you need to look for it in nice firmness, yep. the color and the smell. So when you go to the fishmonger, make sure you find a nice beautiful fish. All right. Well, we're going to get started Tell with our fresh doing. fish. Go for it. Well, I'll just wash my hands while you do that. Okay. I'm going to make a nice marinade and sauce together in one to ready. Beautiful. Well, what you need is just a little bit, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Beautiful. Yes. And that's dark. Beautiful. Dark, yes. What is soy sauce? Soy sauce is made from soya bean and it's fermented and it all comes in different grades, light to dark. It's got different flavors too. Is and it very salty? They are salty because they are salty, yes. And I put already a splash of sesame oil. Beautiful. And I got here a little bit of oh. Japanese rice wine vinegar. Oh, really? nice. Can you drink that or is it just for cooking? Oh, you can drink it if you like. It's nice and healthy for you. But this one's designed for cooking. Beautiful. Uh, and here, a nice sweet mirin. What is mirin? Mirin is a rice wine vinegar as well, but Another one, mixture. a sweeter version one. But it's what gives does it, it do to the food? And this one is gives it a nice sweetness. It's like adding sugar to it. I mean, I had a friend that used to put rat sack in their food for different reasons. Uh, so I'm just saying, this is safe, but isn't it? Yeah, this it's one's not going to make us drunk or anything. No, oh. this one's uh, no suck in this one. So beautiful. this is right here. It's a nice balance of saltiness, oh, sweetness, and aroma. So what we're going to do okay. is just I'm just going to nicely glaze our ocean trout here and on the other side as well. So and glazing is just covering it with the sauce? Yeah, it's just a nice perfume on it. It's not so overly marinated. And what we're going to do is we're going to steam this with extra love. Beautiful. Okay. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to okay. add in some nicely chopped spring onions I got here. Wow. I'm going to place this underneath. So while it's cooking, it's nicely cooking right underneath some spring Beautiful. onions. I also have here some bak choy. Bak choy. Bak choy. So okay. any vegetables that you like, Fred. You've got to pronounce that really carefully. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Bak choy. Bak choy. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard it the Yahoo! first time. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to add in a little bit of my glaze there with the vegetable as well. Okay. And I'm going to head over to the steamer. Oh, this All is right. the steamer here okay. now. Okay, we got the steamer here, oh, Fred. Oh, nicely. Okay, nicely steamed. So what do we do? Do we just throw the whole plate in? We're or? just going to throw the whole plate in. That's simple. So do we need to cover it up? Yeah, then Let's we're... have a quick look. I think Adrian's trying to get a shot there. Okay. So all that we've got is the, what we've just prepared in the steamer. All good. And we put the lid on, do we? Yeah, place the lid on and for in about two to three minutes. Beautiful. And we got a nice, beautiful steamed ocean trout. It smells beautiful. Okay, and while we're here, okay. we're what gonna we make a nice, simple Japanese salad. Okay. Okay. Fred, I'm gonna ask you to do the mixture for me. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, great. I got here a nice Japanese sushi rice. Okay, yep. Uh, right. We save it for later. All right. Okay, I'm gonna quickly just put some perfume. Okay. What I mean, like, you would do the lay. So this is the mirin again. It's nice and sweet Probably flavor. A lot so cheaper than my jupe. A tablespoon of that one. Okay. So give a little bit of sweetness to the rice again. Okay. And a little bit of vinegar. And this is the base when you Want make a sushi that, mix rice. Mix that around? Yeah, mix that around. That's looking good there. Looking good. And we're going to add in some colors now. Okay. The more color you add into your dish, the more oh, I love healthier it becomes. So and it I looks got here. beautiful presentation. Yeah, now. beautiful, nice chopped tomatoes. Okay. And I got here some chopped cucumbers, Lebanese cucumbers. Nice. Is there any other type? Oh, there's a purple um, continental cucumber, the large one. You know everything. Oh, I can to. see we're going to have a lot Yahoo! of fun here. And I also have here finely chopped red onion, so it gives it a nice earthy flavor to it. So oh, we got beautiful. a nice, very colorful rice salad. It does look nice. And I'm going to add in some, now, some wakame. 
wakame. Wakame. Wakame is seaweed and it's oh. nice and healthy for you because it's high in iodine and it gives you a nice good strength. Okay. Good for the young. Good. Okay. Oh, I, I see your point there. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can talk after the show. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Nice here, ginger. Oh, lovely oh, ginger. Japanese loves ginger. Yes. I also have here some black sesame seeds. So Beautiful. it gives it a nice bite to it. Oh, you're just going to throw that in like throw that? Throw that in like that. And some of chopped chives. That so, is incredible. Beautiful. And okay. look at that. That's simple. Easy look at that make. salad, it's colourful, it's beautiful. And just like it's any other fresh. salad that you make, you need to add some dressing. So I'm going to add in some beautiful olive oil into there. It like gives it a nice smoothness and flavour into the dish. Wow, and that's yeah. it. Simple. Beautiful. And Looks what we're going to do, Fred, yep. is I'm just going to ask you to put... Scoop it in. Scoop it in there. And we're going to show you how to present this. Alright. Japanese style. Sunny side up style. Yahoo! Look at that. Okay. How good is that? One of my nori sheet just right here. Nori sheet. Nicely pressed. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to press sheet. it down? Press it down a bit so it stays in shape. Okay. And just cook it right there. Okay, I'll pop okay. that in there. Pop it in there. Oh my god, I'm okay. good. I am nice, good. simple. And then while our fish is cooking. ocean trout is still cooking, we're just gonna garnish this really quickly. And by the time our plate here is and ready. And while you're doing that, let me just tell our viewers at home that we can get all these recipes and more in the Craving magazine. It's Cravings Fine Cooking. You can get the magazine at all good, good bookstores. Books, but you've also got the DVD as well. Yahoo! Now, if you'd like more information about this recipe and more, as well as the DVD and the books, all you have to do is check out our website at www.westcotv.com.au. Look for the fresh and local link, which you'll see Sunny's face there, and that will take you to his website. And you can buy the books or find out what the recipes are. Let's give it the finishing touch. Okay, let's have grab that fish now. Our fish should be ready by now. Oh, grab. it looks awesome. Oh, wow. Look at our ocean Would you like me to bring here? you over the plate? Okay, just place the plate right here. Beautiful. And we're going to finish it by just placing in oh, our... It cooks very quickly. Yes, it's nice and fresh. And what we do, place the spring onion, place your bok choy onto the plate without messing up your plate. And we place our beautiful ocean trout, just like that. And we peel back the skin. Wow, look at that. You know what? That looks incredible. Wow. That and looks incredible. the glaze that we make, the marinade, acts as our sauce as well. So it's simple and easy to make, and it's ready to eat. Would you like me to try some? Of course. Now, of course, I'll need a fork okay. or a spoon. Should I get one over I'll get you a... Because I... Would you like me to use these? Because oh. I don't know how to use... What are they? Drumsticks? A nice job. Let's give it a go. Let's see how it... How do you do this? Let you me... used... supposed to use one hand with the chopstick, but... One hand? Uh, yes, but... <laughs> I'll let you get That's away with this one. awesome. Mmm! <laughs> that is good. Yahoo! I'll and try the fish. I may have to cheat on this one. Okay. I might need to give you a spoon, Fred. You're looking hungry Oh, that's... There. Yes. There you go. You can use the chopsticks to push on. You've outdone yourself. You are a great... Yahoo! Cook. That is fantastic. Full of freshness and, and flavour. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do you know what we're cooking next week? We're going to make a nice wok dance. Stir fry. Beef stir fry with vegetables and egg noodles. Sounds great. Catch us next week for another fresh and local on the couch.